often you'll find that the Honda's making a whining sound from under the hood and often that's uh, because of the power steer steering failing. Well, it's for any cars, Ford does it uh, more often than uh, Honda's. And uh, <clears throat> so anyway, first thing to check is the power steering reservoir. This is the reservoir here. This is a 05 Honda Odyssey. And um, other uh, Hondas are similar, either any vehicle, either left or right, you'll find a uh, power steering reservoir like this. So the reservoir should be, um, should be uh, full. There's a cold level, which is the bottom one, and there's uh, the hot level, which is the higher, higher one. Right now it's kind of a little bit over full. You can see it's higher at hot, because the um, car is hot right now. It's been uh, driven. Now, the whining sound, or uh, mowing sound, moaning sound, kind of, uh, I'll uh, show you what it feels like, uh, what it sounds like in a second and then I'll uh, show you how to uh, troubleshoot that and how to replace the uh, resolve the issue so let's start the car so you hear that moaning sound it's a big whine so this is the power steering pump right here this one And when you turn left or right, the steering, it gets worse, usually. Like that. Pretty bad. So if the fluid is high enough, fluid level is fine, so there is no fluid leak. It's most likely the uh, pump that's doing it. Turn it left and right, the power steering, uh, and you will uh, hear this uh, moaning, like this, going up and down, up and down. So this is the time to change the power steering pump. Take the cover off, use a flathead, turn this, this one is turned already, or yeah, turn this uh, 90 degrees, and then lift it up. The back, you have to lift it up a little bit harder, like this. Back doesn't have a clip, it's just plastic, like this. So those are the top clips. Okay, put it aside. So this is the power steering. This is 2005 and newer Honda Odyssey. Uh, 2004 and older has a power steering driven by different be belt, not the serpentine belt. So that one, uh, you need to take off the serpentine belt and then the power steering belt. And uh, there's tensioner as well. In the 2005 and newer, there is no separate tensioner. So it's the tensioner at the bottom right there. Right down there. I don't know if you can see, I'm trying to show. Right, this one. So this one is the tensioner. So turn it with I think 17 or uh, 18 millimeter socket or it might have a uh, 
half inch drive that goes through it might have a half inch slot uh, for drive to go through it and then uh, turn it and slide this belt off slide this belt off the pulley it's easier actually to slide it right here right there slide it off this pulley is a lot easier and then two more bolts for the power steering just two actually one is right here 12 millimeter right here 12 millimeters the other one is is a bit difficult to access so right here under the pulley use a 12 millimeter deep socket that actually can reach it there a deep socket i'll show it now before you put the new power steering if you buy a brand new one good if it's not pick a get a used one make sure there's no noise look this one nicely spinning and when you when you take it off make sure the oil is not burning so if the oil is no no there's no burning smell in the oil it's all uh, smells good then uh, then uh, it is in good shape and it's spinning nice it's ideal to replace this hose because it cracks here and then leaks right here it hardens and leaks so these are the only two bolts 12 millimeters holding the power steering uh, pump on so it's 19 19 millimeter socket for the tensioner now the difference between this socket and this socket both are 19 but this one has smaller as you can see this one has lots of uh, lots of uh, teeth here so this one actually slips easily whereas this one is hex only one two three four five six right so this one actually doesn't sleep easily so this one uh, i prefer this one otherwise uh, that uh, tensioner uh, hole can easily slip so take a breaker bar or a ratchet small ratchet you can use an extension uh, pipe with it to uh, to uh, uh, release the tensioner be using this one try this it's very hard to see but this is the one right there right there this is the uh, hex socket for a tensioner so you gotta go right there so it turned out that the the hose that I had here was kinked right here. It was too large. It was aftermarket and kinked and uh, it was starving the power steering for uh, fluid. So all I needed is to put a new hose here and um, fill up the power steering uh, reservoir, which I cracked actually, it has to be replaced. But anyway, for now it's okay. Uh, so fill it up. Uh, a little bit of overfill full right now actually and then um, let's start the car and see if the noise goes away noise should go away because right now there's nothing wrong with my pump it was the lack of fluid going to the pump it was kinked right here so let's uh, start the car so remember to change the power steering pump you release this belt 
so the tensioner there they've pulled the tensioner and uh, with the 19 millimeter socket and slide it off the pulley there then take this belt off open the 12 millimeters there and another 12 millimeters right here the top one at the bottom one at the top the pump will come off before you release this uh, take this off put a cloth under here because a little bit of fluid will come out from this side so you take this off pinch the clip pull it back pull this out and then uh, replace the power steering pump with a new one or you go to used on and then um, put the bolts back put this back and check the fluid level make sure the fluid level is fine in this case as i said it was the problem was just a pinched uh, hose here the hose was pinched give me that old ones that one so this was the this is actually a rad hose uh, makeshift uh, this was here and easily this is too too long and it was pinched like this so because it was it was like this the fluid was not going in so now i replaced with a good one and fill the fill the pump uh, reservoir which i cracked actually unfortunately and now let's see if the noise goes away or not start <laughs> there you go no noise running nice and smooth so anyway when the power steering pump goes or if the fluid level is low that's the sound that will be whining sound that you will hear okay hope this helps